Welcome back. Fire up your text editor because now we're going to start coding the class for the calculator. Now this is going to be one of a couple different classes that are going to be involved here. This is the one that we're going to code ourselves and it's going to be uh it's going to be one of it's going to be the main driver behind the calculator. So if we get back into our Linux calculator, we can right click, I'm sorry, get get in the Linux calculator directory, right click and let's create another text file. This one we're going to call it calculator.cpp and then select OK. So now we have another blank C, C++ file. Right click on main.cpp, open it with kwrite. And then when you have that open, minimize it. Right click on calculator.cpp, open it with kwrite. Excellent. So, press F11, it'll show your lines. I'm going to do the same thing here, F11. Below, using namespace std, type in the following, include, and then in between quotation marks, marks in between quotation marks, calculator.cpp, and save it. Open up our trusty, our trusty console. You guys should know how to do this already. Traverse into the project folder, cd space desktop, and then we can do from here cd space linux calculator and then we could run a dir i'm sorry lowercase cool so now we have all this stuff so now that the main program is set to include the calculator make sure that we have that saved g++ space main.cpp just to test it i'm always a huge advocate of compiling on a regular basis just to see how your code is coming out Okay, so now inside calculator.cpp, let's declare a class. Class, and we're going to call it capital C A L C, calc, and then give us some space here. All right, our public data is going first is going to be the constructor, and then after that, we're going to have a number. This is going to be the number that is the accumulator. It's going to constantly hold the value of what the calculator equals. And that's going to make sense later as we start using it. Next, we're going to initialize a function operation. And this is going to handle a string data, data type. This is going to be the function that the main program will interact with all the private functions with. It's going to use this in order to access all the other private functions. And we're going to int the spot of the stack. We're going to let that be public data so that the client code can have access to it and change it. And now we're going to declare some private functions. First one that we're going to do is we're going to write our own converter. This is going to be a string to float converter. Converts from string to float. And actually, let's just change float. I'm going to change this to, I'm going to change it to a double. And I'm going to change this to a double. OK. The reason that we're going to need this function is because the data is going to be coming in from the client code as a string, and then we're going to convert it from a string into a float, into a double, actually, so we can actually perform mathematical operations on it. The next one I'm going to declare is the actual stack itself. And this is going to be an array of size 3. This is going to be the, the stack that's going to hold all of the data, and then once the stack is full, it will then so you know pop so to speak and then perform the arithmetic storing the answer in the in the very first element in this in the um, in the array and now we're just going to have the mathematical operations each one of them is broken up in different functions void they're all going to be void functions so they're not going to be returning anything and i'm just going to copy this so it's going to be add subtract multiply divide and then i'm going to also have square root equal clear so it's going to be subtract, multiply, 
divide SQRT for square root equal and clear, which will actually which will clear the calculator. And I'm gonna also also gonna declare two other functions that is that's gonna work hand in hand with the square root function. It's gonna be of double type. I'm gonna copy this. First one's gonna be square root. And this is going to take a double data type. And the second one is going to be an absolute value. And this is also going to take a double data type. So this is what our class functions are set up to look like. We don't have any comments here. But uh, we'll just go ahead and write some comments just so we know what each one of these is. So this is going to be the answer in the calculator. This function will work with client code. I apologize if I make spelling errors. This is going to hold the spot um, in the stack. So it's going to be the pointer. This is the actual stack. Stack that holds data. And these are pretty self-explanatory, but we'll just do adds. Actually, we don't even need to comment those. We know what that does. Add subtracts divides, multiply, square root, all that happy stuff. So this is what our class is set to look like. Make sure that we have an extra line at the end. Push save and come back into our terminal. Press the up arrow once, it'll bring up the last command that we ran. Press enter, let's see if it compiles. And it does. Excellent. So now that we have the class de de declared, now we're going to start getting together and piece by piece put some of these class functions together.